Good morning. My name is Billy, and this is my video project for Flipping Physics. Flipping Physics. Today we are going to answer the question, do anti-lock brakes use static or kinetic friction to slow down a vehicle? Most modern automobiles are made with ABS brakes, which stands for Anti-Lock Braking System. These brakes are designed to prevent the wheels from locking up. In physics terms, this means the brakes are designed to keep the wheels rolling without slipping. In the absence of anti-lock brakes, the wheels would lock up, stop spinning, and in physics terms be rolling with slipping. I will now use a bicycle to show the difference. Notice when I ride the bicycle normally, the wheels roll without slipping, which means the bike tires do not slide relative to the ground. When I accelerate the bike quickly, the rear tire slips relative to the ground and rolls with slipping. When we take a closer look at the tires while riding the bike normally where the wheels roll without slipping, you can see rolling without slipping uses static friction because the two surfaces are not sliding relative to one another. And when we take a closer look at the tires while accelerating the bike quickly where the tires roll with slipping, you can see rolling with slipping uses kinetic friction because the two surfaces are sliding with respect to one another. Again, rolling without slipping uses static friction, and rolling with slipping uses kinetic friction. Now let's talk about ABS, or anti-lock brakes, on an automobile. The whole idea behind the anti-lock braking system is the car has sensors in it to identify when the tires start to slip, and when a tire does start to slip, the ABS brakes automatically decrease the braking pressure to prevent the wheel from slipping relative to the ground. I borrowed Mr. P's flipping physics mobile in order to show this concept. Thanks, Mr. P. Wait, what? The automatic decrease and increase in braking pressure is the pumping sound you hear and feel coming from the brakes when the anti-lock brakes are being engaged. ABS brakes try to keep the wheels rolling without slipping to keep the friction static rather than kinetic. That's because the coefficient of static friction is greater than the coefficient of kinetic friction. Here is a video at real speed of just one tire on snow while the anti-lock brakes are being applied. As you can see, it is very difficult at real speed to see if the tire rolls with or without slipping. So here is the same video at one-fourth speed. And now I will loop a short section where the tire rolls with slipping. You can see while the tire is rolling with slipping, the tire does not rotate as much and is sliding relative to the ground. Now let's watch the entire braking period for just that tire, and I will number each of the frames where the wheel rolls with slipping. As you can see, even at one-fourth speed, it is very difficult to see when the wheel rolls with slipping. And of course, the car has four tires. So here are all four tires shown as the car is slowing down with the number of frames where the tires used kinetic friction rather than static. Let's watch that again, and this time I have added the total frame count. The number of frames per tire is 404, and with four tires, that means the total number of frames was four times 404, or 1,616 total frames. And the total number of frames where the tires were rolling with slipping was 44. Therefore, 44 divided by 1,616 times 100 is the percentage of the time the tires were rolling with slipping and therefore using kinetic rather than static friction. So this experiment showed 2.723 or roughly 3% kinetic friction and therefore 97% static friction. I think we can conclude that at 97% static friction, anti-lock brakes are almost entirely static friction. And remember, static friction is more effective at slowing the vehicle down because, for any two surfaces, the coefficient of static friction is greater than the coefficient of kinetic friction. Thank you very much for learning with me today. I enjoyed learning with you.